We have here a very simple model to demonstrate this. The container at the top represents our arterial system. And we have two tubes here representing uh, an artery in my right hand and a diseased narrowed artery in my uh, left hand. The trouble with narrowing of arteries is that flow through the artery is very dependent on the diameter. So narrowing of the artery substantially reduces the flow to the affected organ. So let me demonstrate this to you now. Put our two containers underneath and I'll fill up our circulatory system with some red fluid representing blood. There we are. And now I'll just let the blood flow through our two arteries. You can see that the tube on the right is a narrow diameter. So if I now stop the flow, just in time, you can see that there's a lot more fluid has flown out through the normal artery, as we're having it, than through the narrowed artery. And the importance of understanding this in the context of disease is one of the commonest diseases of human beings has exactly this consequence. That's the disease known as hardening of the arteries, arteriosclerosis, or as pathologists call it, atheroma. This can cause the lining of the arteries to become rough and irregular and narrowed, and this can cause arteries in the bodies to narrow, as we can now show you some examples.